Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see by the name of today's video, I am so excited to finally be upgrading my iPhone 12 to the iPhone Pro. And I am so, so happy. I waited, I did not get the 13th, and now your girl got the 14th, okay? This video is really dedicated to having the unboxing, of course, you know I love a good unboxing, and then just doing a little bit of a review, telling you how I feel about this phone in comparison to my iPhone 12, and yeah, let's not waste any time and let's set this beauty up. So for one, of course, the packaging, it's always the packaging for me. Um, look how sleek this is. Um, as you can see by this packaging and on the side, I don't know if that's a good angle, but your girl stuck to the basic. I stuck to what I knew, okay? I have an iPhone 12 um, Pro that's gold and I got a gold 14 Pro. So I was really tempted by that deep purple but I just want to play it safe and just stick to what I know. Like I'm so, at this point, I'm getting so basic in my wants um, because this is the case that I currently have for my iPhone 12 Pro. And I literally ordered the exact same case um, for my 14, just like, yeah. I love it. I always get compliments on my case and I felt like, why change it? So. I did this before in the past when I had um, another case, so in that regard, I'm really, really simple on my phone. I just like to have the latest technology. That's always great, right? I'm a lover of tech. And um, yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and set this up. So what I've already done is back up all my information to the cloud. Today is launch day, so I'm so excited to be doing this video on launch day. Um, and as you can see, I have not even opened this yet. All right, so you see that little green tab? Very intuitive, right? Don't even have to think twice. Let me just get my nail under that. And that wasn't even so hard, um, but I just lift that tab up and I'm just going to It's official. Oh, and there's one at the bottom. I'm gonna just do the same there, all right? And this is the thing about unboxing an iPhone. It's always better to lay it flat on a surface or literally put your hand at the bottom and simply just raise that box. Ooh, she's a beauty. Ooh, such a beauty. Do you see this? iridescent type of backing yes just want to make sure that it doesn't pop out so take a look yeah so i'm literally doing the e-sim um and the really easy setup where i'm transferring everything over and yeah i'm gonna set up face id so now the most critical part, transferring um, information from iCloud. Remember, that's something I said I wanted to make sure it was there. Let me do that. I am now transferring everything from my iCloud to the 14. You know what's very interesting? Who's gonna know? This is literally my 12 over the 14. And I feel like this is worth showing. Literally, I'm lining up the line to line and it looks like the exact same phone. Like, it's actually pretty scary. Um, Yeah, but one thing to note is how significantly more larger the lens are on the 14 versus the 12 like look at that but and look at the backing this is almost like an iridescent type finish it's giving like a very matte tone just one tone looks the like the same phone like wow the lens is just significantly bigger which is awesome 
So just take a look at that. Anywho, oh, make sure I agree to the terms. Get everything transferred over. And I don't know about you all, but I know it's 2022. How many of you still use a case on your phone or you just use your phone like this? But while that is setting up my Apple ID, I am going to oh, make this your new phone. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Just adding all my Apple Pay cards. Um, in fact, I just got an alert saying this updating my backup just so I can have everything um, as of this moment, which I think is really great too. And I'm opening up my new case. This case is from Sonix. Coffee is always a good idea. Like, I so love this case. Of course, this is how beautiful like it looks when it's so brand new, so fresh. But then it gets dull and dirty, but still. That's such a nice case. Oh, I love that. It says, saving the planet one case at a time. Our package is 100% recyclable. Made with 95% recycled paper and 5% biodegradable plastic. That is always awesome. So this is what the case looks like brand new. This is what the case looks like used. Like, it's not even straight. This case has been through some things, huh? All right. So look at this. Like, literally from a case comparison, if I didn't know any better, like look, you could just see like that little square for the camera part is significantly larger on the 14. And the dimensions is pretty much the, exactly the same. So yeah, if you're concerned about sizing and if you wanna get like the Pro Max versus like the Pro, like I can tell you that your 14 Pro is gonna be the same dimensions ultimately as year 12 and that's awesome um because i didn't want to go anything bigger then so i love that so we just added, added some of my apple cards and setting up my apple cash i also have two minutes left on my backup so i'm just gonna speed past all of this and be back when i can get into the new phone Um, what iPhone are you using? Nah, get your money up because I can't. All right, bye. So, um, yeah. That's cool. Ooh. I love how it just dimmed, but I can still see the time with the always on. So dope. Um, and yay, um, Again, not going to spend a lot of details going over like the different specs. Like I'm still going to be trying to explore the phone myself. But I just wanted you to see a side by side comparison of the two phones. Larger screen. I cannot wait to take and capture video and photo content with this new phone. And um, all my apps are still coming on in. I decided to do a resource from backup which generally I hate to do because I want to make sure that I manually bring my apps in over, but hey. Okay, look what is loaded. Uh, get these notifications off. So I intentionally did not upgrade um, to the new iOS on my 12. I was actually hoping to do so before I picked up my phone, but for the sake of this video, um, I think it is really good to just see um, what that looks like already. You know, you I'm sure you've already watched the event, so you know what features are different. Um, and I love it. I totally love it. It gives me more screen um, size. Like the screen just looks so much bigger. And this is the dynamic island. It's gonna be another one. I need to make sure my Tesla key card still works. So um, again, I just did a restore from iCloud, hoping that everything will work great. If not, I'll start having to delete all apps and manually bring them back on. So hopefully this works out good. So thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. 
and comment down below um any feedback questions concerns comment down below on this video so thank you all for watching and i'll catch you all on the next lit video bye